What's up everybody? We got a new year on our hands, 2021, knocking at the door. Am I comfortable with the fact that phonetically the year 2021 sounds like 2021? No. No, I am not. So we're gonna kick that in the teeth straight away by trying to make a little more of a positive video and uh, since, you know, list formats always gets views, I thought why not make it a list format. This is a super short form video where we're gonna talk about the most overlooked purchases of 2020 and why you should probably still consider getting them here in 2021. New year, new me, new loadout. I've been feeling the itch. If you guys have been feeling that itch to buy something new even though you haven't been able to play Airsoft for a long time, you know, go ahead and put that stuff in the comments. But nevertheless, top five weapons that you should probably buy in 2021 if you really want to buy a gun in 2021. Even though, you know, there's a recession coming, so maybe hold on to your finances, but then again, this is an abstractation from mental experimentation, so why not just do it so you can feel good for a little bit? Anyway, yeah, let's get into the video. So the first gun I'm gonna talk about, I don't know if it's so much of a sleeper from 2020 as it actually gained a lot of popularity in 2020, but I really still think it's kind of overlooked when it comes to what pistol should you buy. And that's the AAP-01, or the Action Army Pistol. 01 and then their call sign assassin or whatever they want to call it. I think it's an awesome plinker Comes in full auto and semi-auto uh, selection mode. It's a really solid pistol Very very much focused on modularity and being able to switch out everything that you want to happen And it's also incredibly accurate because the blowback Function of it doesn't actually move anything compared to the barrel of the hop. So it's sort of a fixed barrel thing where the bolt is completely separate from anything that has to do with nailing down the barrel. So the only thing that's actually moving is your hand when it kicks. So I think it's a really accurate gun and it's cool that it offers that full auto function. And AAP has really nailed home the modularity as I've said. They've made a ton of extra stuff for this and I know third party companies are coming out with extra add-ons to this pistol. So if you're looking for a pistol, maybe you're a sniper and you want something that can be super accurate but also maybe something that can up your firepower by going full auto, I really would suggest looking into the AAP-01. I know the looks isn't for everybody, but I really dig. Next one on the list is, um, it's a bit contentious. Because I know if you ask anywhere, what AK should I buy, the number one response is going to be a SEMA AK. And with good reason. Some of them run like tanks. I've had some issues with some of them, but majority speaking, they run pretty well for as long as you have them. And obviously, if you don't want to drop the money on an LCT or an ENL, which can be very expensive because of the more re real steel focused parts, you're kind of in the dead water. Where do I get a mid tier AK? Well, my suggestion would be to try out the new Arcturus AKs. Personally, my favorite from the Arcturus AK lineup is their AK-05. I think it's a nice carbine length weapon. I do like my shorties. And it's a very modern looking AK. More importantly, it's very similar to one of my favorite builds in Tarkov, which is like the Zenicode out AK. And it's completely compatible with post-market materials like a Zeneco stock or foregrips or anything like that and it is a V3 box internally which is ready to upgrade. Not that you would so much need it because this AK runs really well out of the box. I'd say if I could give any sort of comparison to the Arcturus, I'd probably put it towards Crytac, at least the Crytac Trident lineup. Super high quality externals with mid-range internals. So there's room for upgrade, but it shoots okay out of the box and it looks amazing. So if you're looking for a more modern, really sort of super tactical AK, look into the Arcturus line. Okay, so we've had a pistol, we've had an AK, so it's time to talk about the M4s. And I actually have two M4s that I would want to suggest here, but that's because I feel like they fall under different categories. So one very much sleeper that came out in 2020 is the new Modify XTCs. I've reviewed it on my channel. You can find the right up there. And I think they're amazing. They shoot great out of the box, comes with a gate aster, and overall fantastic plinker, comes in a variety of different lengths, as well as you can decide what muzzle device you want. And I think I could make it through 
one video without plugging Airsoft Armory, but why not? Airsoft Armory is getting the PDW version of this gun, so it's all of the new internals and the updated externals, but with the PDW stock from the original XTC series, they're gonna be the only ones in the world that has this, custom ordered from Modify. Looks amazing. Wait for it to be up on their site, but really taking it back to the XTC platform, I feel like it's one of the most underrated releases of the last year, and it's probably one of the best shooting M4s out of the box at a very decent price point. Sure, you can get stuff that shoots way better at a higher price point, or you can get custom work done at a higher price point, but if you're looking for just a flat, mid-tier to high-end skirmish weapon where it's like, I just want to put it out of the box, put a battery in it, and it performs, XTC is right up there. It's it's just a fantastic M4. And I feel like people who aren't seriously evaluating it for their top 10 guns of 2020 are kind of sleeping. So modify XTC for you who's looking for a skirmish rifle. Now, a different sort of user for the M4 platform are the Milsim crowd. I know you're out there in my heart of hearts, even though it might not look it, I am one of you, and actually, if you are a Milsim dude, subscribe, because very soon I'm gonna do a full loadout overview of my Milsim kit. I've done a lot of additions to it. I think it's working really well now, so I'm gonna do a full overview video where I talk about what I wear for Milsim, so stay subscribed for that one. But, if you are a Milsim dude and you're looking for that perfect Captain Price cosplay rifle, well, this year, Maybe not have been its release year, but it's definitely been budgeted down on a lot of sites and I would strongly recommend picking it up and that is the GMP Mark 18. So this is a collab between GMP and Daniel Defense. It's fully licensed by Daniel Defense, unlike so many other Mark 18 clones on the airsoft market. You've got the Daniel Defense markings, 556 markings on the receiver, comes in burnt bronze as well as in black. And I know if you order it from Red Wolf, you can get custom Cerakoting done to it, both camo, chocolate browns, you name it. And obviously it's a Mark 18. It's like the defaulto, I'm not a 416 guy rifle, personally my favorite iteration of the M4. I think it has class, it's stylish, it's classic yet modern. I think it's a fantastic platform and the GNP Daniel Defense version of the M4 is just sort of the epitome of Mark 18s because it's very high quality externals. GMP does make decent quality internals, but at that point, it doesn't even matter because the V2 box, you're gonna stuff that thing full of new parts anyway, or HPA tap it, doesn't matter. The externals here is really what's on focus and it's completely authentic, picture perfect accurate, fantastic job on the externals. Really look at this for your next Milson pickup if you are Team Blue. So. Finally, speaking of Team Blue, the last rifle that I'm going to suggest is actually going to be a SEMA. Yes, you, you heard it right, you couldn't get through another top 5, top 10, whatever list without hearing the word SEMA again, and let's just be real, SEMA makes quality rifles at a very affordable price point, and the new, which is the one I'm going to suggest, SEMA MP5 Blue Edition is no different. Now the Blue Edition is sort of SEMA's new take on a new price range and the, they made Blue Editions for both their AKs and their M4s and whatever you want but I really feel that the MP5 needs more love as a platform in Airsoft. I know, I know, it's a V2 box so obviously you're gonna have all the amenities of a V2 box but I still feel like that MP5 external game needs to be upped. We had a great going with the nine bowl swordfish kit. Looks amazing on MP5s. I still feel like we need those Angel Customs 10 millimeter magazines to get their ass to Europe so we can make our COD belts. Come to think of it, most of the stuff in here is featured in the uh, Modern Warfare game. I don't know if there's any overlap in there. But nevertheless, if you're looking for a good MP5 pickup, Tokyo Marui MP5, although amazing for its time, kind of outdated, and Elite Four's MP5's obviously not that available in Europe. Look at the SEMA blue line. Sure, you don't get the HK markings, and yeah, that's a bummer, but you get a really decent shooting gun out of the box, and it's an MP5, so it's automatically awesome. I mean, at me, come on, it's, it's an MP5. It cannot not be awesome. 
All right, guys, well, that was pretty much it. That was the uh, top five sleeper builds, sleeper guns of 2020 that you should buy in 2021 if you got some extra cash lying around. Personally, if I had the money for it, I'd buy every single one of them because, well, as you might have noticed, this list is very much based on my personal opinion. These are guns that I find very cool looking or great performers or guns I reviewed myself or held myself. I think they are just neat. They're just gosh darn neat. So if you like this list and you want more like this, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have some other suggestions of guns that I might have missed that you really like that came out in 2020, hit that shit up in the comments. Let me know. I might make a follow up like a subscriber edition top five guns to buy in 2021, right? Who knows? Uh, and if you're just joining us from the uh, algorithmic search feed, I'm glad that making a list actually worked. So, uh, yeah, you know, stick around, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, until then, peace.